child of God, the Lord will show you the path of life. The Lord will show you the direction you ought to take in life. And it would make sure you enjoy the fullness of joy that are found in his presence. Yes, the blessings that are found in his right hand, you would enjoy them forevermore. Psalm 16 verse 11 says, Thou will show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand are pleasures forevermore. God wants you to know today that you would enjoy the fullness of his blessings. Everything that are found in the hand of God, you will get in the mighty name of Jesus. It will cause you to enjoy beautiful things, wonderful things that he has prepared for you. And it would make your path very clear. It would make your path straight. It will cause you to enjoy everything that you need to enjoy in life. Dear child of God, you would experience absolute joy because God will keep you in his tabernacle. God will keep you in his presence and you would enjoy the delights of his blessings all the days of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. What are those things you need to know about your life? God is saying to you today, I would unveil each and every one of them. You would know my will. You would know my plan. You would know everything that I intend to do in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, you will show me the path of life. With you, I would enjoy myself a lot. At your right hand, there is pleasure forevermore. Dear child of God, you would enjoy the pleasures of God. This is what I want you to know. Everything that are pleasurable with God, they would be found in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that will cause you to enjoy living, dear child of God, you will find each and every one of them becoming even more manifested to you. You'll find each and every one of them increasing where you are in the mighty name of Jesus. Ephesians 5 verse 17 says, Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. I know you're asking God today, what is your will for my life? Show me the path of my life. Show me everything that I need to know according to your will. God is saying to you, he would make them known unto you. He's saying to you, I will bring you to the understanding that you have been craving for. The knowledge that you have been asking that you want to know, I will cause you to know them. And everything in your life would begin to flourish. Everything in your life will begin to sprout. And you will live a struggle-free life. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will not allow you to seek corruption. He would order your step. It will direct you in all the things that you ought to do and know. You would always receive the fullness of his blessings. What you need to do, dear child of God, is to set the Lord always in your heart. Is to tell him, Lord, I look unto you. My heart is open unto you, that you may be able to direct me, that you may be able to instruct me in all that I ought to do. And God will instruct you. Yes. You have asked for wisdom. You have asked for direction. God is saying, I will direct you. You are thinking at this point, what is the way forward? Dear child of God, just ask the Lord and say, what is it you have in store for me? And God will begin to unveil everything that you ought to know. Just ask him, what is it in your next phase for my life? God will begin to unveil each and every one of them to you because your path or to shine bright. The scriptures in Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18 says, But the path of the just is as a shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. Dear child of God, heaven have ordained that your path will be brightened. Heaven have ordained that your path will be made clear. Why don't you go to God and say, Make my path straight. Bring to me all the understanding I need to have that I may walk worthy of the call that I may walk excellently, that I may live my life with all assurance, knowing everything that comes at the turn of every event. Dear child of God, I want you to know that you will not miss it in life. Just believe in God. Believe in the one that has his will already settled for your life. And you will come into it and you will know it. He says to you today that everything concerning your future, they will be made available unto you. What you need to do, is just to ask him and say, Lord, 
What are those things you have in store for me? What are those things you want me to know at this point in time of my life? Please make them known unto me. And God will make each and every one of them known unto you, dear child of God. God will make sure that you are not in any way ignorant of everything you ought to know at this point in your life. Everything that you ought to know that will cause you to live your life perfectly. God will make them known to you, dear child of God. God will see to it that every of this understanding you begin to get. And you will not have any reason to worry. You will not have any reason to burden your heart anymore. Because God will continually direct you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says, Lord, you know my ways. Please unveil everything that I've written in your book for me. He says, show me the things about my future. Show me the things that are to come so that I may know the path that I must take. Dear child of God, God will begin to unveil to you the path that you ought to take. God knows every single thing. Even what you do not know about what is to come, God knows every single one of them and he will make them known unto you. He says he will show you the path of life. He will show you which direction to take. He will let you know that this is what I want you to know. He will let you know this is the marriage I'm proposing for you. He will let you know this is the business venture I'm asking you to get into. He will let you know this is what I want you to do right now. Because this is where my will is for you. This is what my plan is for you. This is everything that I've proposed for you. And as you begin to do this, other things will begin to unveil. Dear child of God, you may not see the big picture. But when you get it one step at a time, yes, you will get everything worked out for you in due course and in due time. So ask God, please give me the grace and give me the knowledge. Give me the understanding to come to you every day that I may know every turn that I have to take. Like that song says, one step at a time, sweet Jesus, is what I ask of you. Maybe you're going to God and say, just help me. Help me with every step. Help me with every move. Help me with every thought. Help me with every decision that I ought to make. Dear child of God, this is the secret of knowing that path of your life. When you rely on God for every direction, when you rely on God for every step, for every step you want to take, you will not miss it. You will not get it wrongly. You will not come to that point of making any errors. When I pray for you that you will not make any mistake. Dear child of God, I pray for you that anything that will cause you to get into error, God will take you far from that place. And God will make sure that everything you need to have, yes, every understanding you need to have, you will begin to have them. It says in all of your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Dear child of God, why don't you acknowledge God today? Because he's ready to direct your path. He's ready to lead you on. He's saying to you, just trust me. Trust me with all of your heart. And lean not onto your own understanding. Don't think you have it all figured out. Just trust me. Rely upon me. And I will keep directing you. Proverbs 3 verse 5 says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lean not, not unto thine own understanding. Lean not unto thine own understanding, dear child of God. It says, In all thy ways acknowledge me. Acknowledge God, dear child of God. It's saying to you, Acknowledge me in all that you do. And you will see me direct your path. You will see me lead you on the path that you ought to take. Don't be wise in your own eyes, dear child of God. Because the moment you begin to become wise in your own eyes, thinking you have everything all figured out, dear child of God, you may be making a mistake. You may be making a costly error. So come to that point of saying, God, I will lean on you. I will rely on you. I will rely on your direction. Everything you say to me to do, everything I will do. Every single thing that you are instructing me, even when it looks very foolish, even when it looks like it makes no sense, I will do them because I trust in you. I will not lean on my own understanding. But as foolish as it may seem, as unseeming as it may come, I will do them as long as you are the one instructing me to do them. And I want you to know that this is how 
you will get to the place of your breakthrough. This is how you get to the place of your relevance. This is how you get to the point where God wants to make you significant. When God told Abraham to leave his father's house, it seemed so foolish at the time. He didn't tell him where to go to, he just told him to leave. And as he obeyed, as he obeyed the instructions of God, as he did everything that God wanted him to do, God rewarded him exceedingly. God blessed him so great that till today is still very relevant. This is what God will do for you. If you would only say, keep leading me on. Keep telling me what to do and I will do them. Keep giving me the understanding that this is what you are saying to me to do. Help me to know your voice. Help me to know how you speak to me. Help me to know how you communicate with me. When you get this right, dear child of God, you will get every step of your life right. And I pray for you this day that God will show you the path of life. He will show you that marriage. He will show you that future. He will show you that career path. He will show you everything that you ought to have. And don't think it is over for you already. Don't think it is too late. There are people in their old age that still made it because they were able to get the right direction. You will still get it right and your life will be blissful. You will be full of joy because God wants to settle you in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord do you well and direct your path all the way in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.